Module 3, Rights, Policies, and Procedures. When working at SA Holdings, it is important that you know and understand your rights as an employee. The Canada Labour Code outlines worker rights and responsibilities, and we operate in compliance with these rules and regulations. These regulations help to set out our work practices and procedures that help keep you safe at work. As a worker, you have the right to know information about hazards you may face in your position. You also have the right to participate in safety at your workplace and the right to refuse unsafe work. Just as you have your own rights and responsibilities, your employer also has their own responsibilities. These responsibilities include developing and evaluating health and safety programs at work, as well as protecting the health and safety of you as an employee. Occupational health and safety legislation has defined codes of practice to provide employers and workers with the legislative requirements for hazardous types of work and conditions. Here at SA Holdings, we recognize the need for these codes of practice and have developed practices of our own to educate workers on the specific hazards applicable to our company operations. One of the requirements of the Canada Labour Code is to have a written fall protection plan for workers working at heights. When de-icing, you will need to follow these procedures and use all fall protection and fall arrest equipment, such as a safety harness and lanyard. It is important that this equipment is inspected prior to every use to ensure that it is in good condition to be used and to protect you. When working at heights, it is also important that you ensure that the area below you is clear of all personnel and objects. Taking all necessary precautions is exercising your right to participate in safe work. You may also use different equipment when working at heights. This equipment could be anything from temporary stairways and work platforms to portable and extension ladders. Before using a ladder, it is important to ensure that it is inspected for damage and placed on a level surface. When using a ladder, do not climb higher than the third step from the top. Three points of contact should always be maintained when climbing or descending. Keep in mind that ladders are not to be placed against an unsafe support, erected on boxes, tables, scaffolding, main lift platforms, or on vehicles. If you are unsure of how to properly set up or use a ladder, please ask a manager or supervisor for help. In addition to having a fall protection plan, we also have various policies to help keep you safe on the job. One of these policies is surrounding alcohol and drug use. At SA Holdings, it is important that all employees share the responsibility of maintaining a safe work environment, free from the effects of alcohol and performance-altering drugs. The company expectation is that all workers arrive at work fit for duty without performance-altering drugs or alcohol in their system. Anyone suspected of being under the influence of alcohol and or drugs will be removed from the work site until further review by management. SA Holdings also has policies surrounding workplace violence and harassment. We are committed to creating a safe work environment for you and your coworkers and do not condone or tolerate acts of violence or harassment against or by any of our employees. You will learn more about workplace violence and harassment in the online course that has been assigned to you. This concludes our module. When you are ready, please continue to the quiz.